Hi, this is Chris from the Green Beret Life. So, in my series here about my plate carrier, the first video was discussing pretty much the generalities of it. So, now, in its evolution, that original vest was not equipped with quick detach devices. I find that kind of odd. So, it wasn't guaranteed, it wasn't the best carrier out there, but we're going to. As I mentioned, we're going to make some mods. So, this video is going to focus on the actual Fast Tech mods that I made that made this a quick detach. Okay? So, notice on these Fast Techs that they squeeze together to make it come apart. Well, notice in here you can see the little hollow cavity right here and then also in here okay that's where our mods are going to start and then this vest plate carrier will be quick to attach with that let's get started so what we have here is the front panel to the plate carrier now I've included this is what I've done I've included some 550 cord gut here in here and it runs back to a pool lanyard that I have hooked up here that is a sewn piece of 550 cord okay so this is actually the pool lanyard that actuates the quick detach so let's look at the quick detach itself in the fast tech Notice that you're going to see this is attached here, 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 and here. What this does when you pull on this, it actuates the fast tech. Okay, watch. Ever so slightly, it pulls it together. Okay, so notice that you see a hole here and also one over here. You can see it, the light through it. And all I've done is took a continuous loop from this 550 cord gut and put it through here, these loops, these holes, I mean, excuse me, and the holes in this channel right here and out this way. So. I've drilled holes here and here in this cavity and also here and then I've ran the guts in that so it actuates the fast tech clip okay and then to help with further and along I took some very cool heat shrink tubing after the 550 cord was sewn and put it in the sleeve. As I mentioned, the heat shrink tubing was on my pool lanyard and I'm getting ready to shrink this onto my pool lanyard right now what I have set up here is just a jig to help with putting the heat shrink in place so all I've done is taken a piece of coat hanger and simply put a small hook in it just big enough to slip over the heat shrink and the 550 cord so just like this and then it just slides into place now this is actually four pieces of heat shrink tubing on here and I really got kind of lucky with the black heat shrink 
fitting over the green. So let's put the heat to this and watch it slowly come into place. Okay, here's the heat shrink tubing we just did. Pool lanyard. And now we're getting to attach it to the guts that I put together in the Fast Tech clip. So I want to explain this real quick. So this 550 cord gut is just one strand. I've pulled it out, obviously, and I've just taken a Sharpie and colored it. So you're going to want to let this dry for a little bit because one, that ink from the Sharpie didn't dry too fast on this. But it did blacken it like I wanted it to. Okay, so this piece of gut is 28 inches long. Okay, and all I did with the holes I've drawn here, here in this channel, and this other side, is take one end of the 550 core gut and just thread it through. And I started inside the channel threaded it through out to this end, clear back through both those holes to the other side, up through that one, and back through the other side and down through the channel. And then I centered it, I made the ends even, and then all I did is simply tie a fixed loop in here using a figure eight knot or an overhand's fine too. Uh, figure eight's a little, a little better, and I doubt it's going to come out. And I've just created a loop here, and that'll actuate the fast tech. So now I'm going to finish it up by attaching this loop that I've created with the 550 cord gun onto my pool lanyard. So simply all I'm going to do is create a girth hitch in this. So all you're going to do is put your pull lanyard inside that loop that you created here. Put that through the other loop and fish it through. And it creates this nice girth hitch here, which will not come out. You can dress the knot up, it looks nice and neat. And you're going to place it inside the sleeve, the shoulder pad of the vest along the axis here. And then you can see the other side over here, what I've done, how it comes out. And then I've hidden it kind of behind the molly stuff. So we're going to do the same on this side. So what this does just kind of stows it for you okay at the same time kind of hiding it so nothing gets snagged on it and you can pull it to actuate it and now I'm going to give you an example of how that works Okay, this is the exciting part. So everything is done. It's in place, both sides in place to actuate both clips here and here. Now, keep in mind, all this does is actuate the shoulder clips that separate the front panel from the back panel. Okay, now here's the exciting part. Now, either way, you can pull either one. It doesn't matter um, which one you actuate but both are set up for that. So let's watch this. I'm gonna pull on this end where my thumb is. So either I'm gonna put my thumb in here 
or I can pull this out and pull down. But either way, I like my thumb. And let's watch the fast text here squeeze together. And then you're going to see it actuate. See, you can see them start to move slowly. There, it pops out. Okay, excellent. All right, and all you got to do, everything's still intact from here all the way down because everything's tied together and it's stuffed inside the shoulder sleeve, so nothing's going to come out. All we got to do is put it back together. Let's try the other side. Okay, so that was the right side as it's worn. Let's try this side. Now this time I'm going to pull this completely out. Let's say this was out. Okay, again, we've created the thumb loop here. All right, now let's watch close. Watch this actuate really close here. You can see the two start to come together. You can see where I'm pulling already. Here, see how they're starting to disappear? And then they pop. And all we're doing is just putting it back together. And then lining things back up. Okay, in closing, so we've, man, this is, this project's coming along nicely. I like it. I'm very excited. I can't wait till you guys see the end of this thing. It's so freaking awesome. Um, yeah, so the quick detach, I've retrofitted. The fast tech buckles, which goes, is just on the collar here on both sides of the plate carrier, too. Really quick detach. So in the end, all we're doing is pulling, finding the thumbs and pulling straight down like this, okay? A motion that's just natural and your strongest motion in your arms pulling down from your shoulders, okay? And that just separates your fast tech clips and allows the carrier, the front, in the back to separate at the shoulder only, okay? So in the coming videos, the next video, I'm gonna hook up the quick detach for the cummerbund. Now there's two cummerbunds. I like the inner and then the outer. I'm gonna show you exactly how those work. So uh, if there's any questions or comments on the quick detach, the fast text retrofitted, let me know in the comment section. Comment section and if there's any questions, uh, you can email at uh, info at panergiclife.com and I will respond as quickly as I can. Uh, if, I got, if I'm loaded with a lot of questions, then if there's some details that need to come out or whatever, anybody's got any questions, please let me know. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there and see how the short video or whatever can cover some of that stuff. So, hey, remember, check out our website, www.panergiclife.com. We're slowly... Uh, migrating over to the Greenville Ray life and remember living freedom every day.